Nanotechnology is the term given to those areas of science and engineering where phenomena that take place at dimension in the nanometer scale are utilized in the design, characterization, production and application of materials, structures, devices and systems. It is also the branch of technology that deals with dimensions and tolerances of less than 100 nanometers, especially the manipulation of individual atoms and molecules. Nanotechnology in computers developed some issues of traditional computer before because traditional computer use silicon components as an affordable and easy to manufacture method to provide faster computers. But the problem is this method in traditional computer reduces the effectiveness, performance, and durability of silicon components. Thus, as a problem wanted to solve, the nanotechnology helps the computer to develop and provide less issues or problems and to provide and improve processor power to cooler temperatures and lighter weights to solve the heat dilemma the traditional computer issues has. So, what is the nanotechnology in computer? And what is something new that developed the computer we have right now? According to Rebecca McCumber 2021, the nanotechnology in computers are made up with nanomaterials which is tiny molecule sized machines that the one who has a processes for information that has similar process with the complex cells in living organism. As they have similarities with the cells, the nanomaterials exist on a microscopic level, 1 nanometer measuring 1 billion of a meter or 1 over 5,000 the thickness of a human hair. Nanotechnology in computing therefore operates on a minuscule level. The computer manufacturers and developers create long microscopic strands of carbon atoms that call carbon nanotubes into tiny transistors that provide twice the processing power of silicon chips, meanwhile they generating much less heat and lighter components. For more information, nanotechnology application offer more efficient performance. For example, the powerful computers has the drive with, with larger memory at lighter weights, also cooler temperature, is the responsible for the development of nanotechnology in the currently computers. Another development of computer is the nanodot with its ability to condense vast amounts of data in a closely packed compartment may eventually replace the hard drive disk but the question is nanomaterials are expensive than silicon materi materials so why is it still we prefer this kind of method however according to rebecca mccomber 2021 the rise in demand outweighs the economic concern that's the reason why still nanotechnology in computer is more demand than traditional computer? It is also that the quality is better than before. Societal impact is how institutions, organizations, businesses, or individuals' actions affect the surrounding society. The social implications of any new technology can be felt by people directly incorporated with organization or individual or people in different societies and countries. The societal impacts of new technologies are easy to identify but hard to measure or predict. Nanotechnology will have these significant social impacts in the areas of military applications, intellectual property issues, as well as having an effect on the labor and the balance between the citizens and governments. Nanotechnology is a common word these days, but many of us don't realize the amazing impact it has on our daily lives. According to the United States National Nanotechnology Initiative, nanotechnology is science, engineering, and technology conducted at the nanoscale, which is about 1 to 100 nanometers. 1 nanometer is a billionth of a meter, or for comparison, a sheet of newspaper is about 100,000 nanometers thick. Scientists are discovering that atoms and molecules behave differently at the nanoscale. 
It is also a rapidly expanding field. Scientists and engineers are having great success making the materials at the nanoscale to take advantage of of enhanced properties such as higher strength lighter with increased electrical conductivity and chemical reactivity compared to the larger scale equivalents and now we're giving you the 10 ways a nanotechnology impacts on our daily basis number one the faster smaller and more powerful computers that consume far less power with longer lasting batteries circuits made from carbon nanotubes could be vital in maintaining the graph of computer power allowing more slow to continue. Number two, faster, more functional, and more accurate medical diagnostic equipment. Lab and chip technology enables point-of-care testing in real time which speeds up delivery of medical care, nanomaterial surfaces on implants, improve wear and resist infection. Number three, Nanoparticles in pharmaceutical products improve their absorption within the body and make them easier to deliver. Often through combination medical devices, nanoparticles can also be used to deliver chem chemotherapy drugs to specific cells such as cancer cells. Number 4. Improve vehicle fuel efficiency and corrosion resistance by building vehicle part from nanocomposite materials that are lighter, stronger, and more chemical resistant than metal. Nanofilters remove ne nearly all airborne particles from the air before it reaches the combustion chamber, further improving gas milling. Nanoparticles or nanofibers in fabrics can enhance stain resistance, water resistance, and flame resistance without a significant increase in weight, thickness, or stiffness of the fabric. For example, nano whiskers on pants make them resistant to water and stains. Number six, water filters that are only 15 to 20 nanometers wide can remove nano sized particles, including virtually all viruses and bacteria. The cost efficient, this cost efficient portable water treatment system are ideal for improving the quality of drinking waters in emerging countries. And number seven, carbon nanotubes have a variety of commercial uses, including making sport equipment stronger and lighter weight. For example, a tennis racket made with a carbon nanotube bends less during impact and increase the force and accuracy of the delivery. Nanoparticle treated. Tennis ball can be bounced, can keep bouncing twice as long as a standard tennis balls. The next one, most sunscreen today are made from nanoparticles that effect, that effectively absorb light, including the the more dangerous ultraviolet range. They also spread more easily over the skin. These same nanoparticles are also used in food packaging to reduce. UV exposure and prolonged shelf life. And another example, many drink bottles are made from plastic containing nanoclays which increase resistance of formation by oxygen, carbon dioxide, and moisture. It helps remain carbonation and pressure and increase shelf life by several months. And lastly, thanks to nanotechnology, a huge variety of chemical sensors can be programmed to detect a particular chemical at amazingly low levels, for example, a single molecule, molecule out of billions. This capability is ideal for surveillance and security system at labs and industrial sites and airports. On the medical front, non-sensors can be also used to accurately identify particular cells or substance in the body. That's all. Thank you.